So I'm going to be breaking down the Misfits card this weekend. And I'm actually pretty excited for this card. It has a bit of uh, MMA Twitter on this card. Ben Davis is fighting on this card against Anderson Silva's son, which is just really, really fucking bizarre. But, you know, it's still, it's a pretty fun card. You know, I, if I'm being honest, I don't know a lot of the guys on this card. I only really know, obviously, Ben Davis. I know uh, Temper, of course. Hello, I am. I actually, to be fair, I do know quite a few people on this card. Uh, I don't know any of these girl fighters, though. I don't know who Carla Jade is or Tasha Kana. Don't know who Puffy is. Pulley, sorry. Yeah, I don't, honestly, I don't know who a lot of these guys are. But, you know, I'm just, just going to make predictions on uh, <laughs> just whatever. I, I do know Master Ugwe, of course, though. But still, you know, I I like freak show fights, you know, as well as MMA and boxing and kickboxing, bare knuckle. I just, I just like fights, if I'm being honest. So first fight, you got Carla Jade versus Tasha Khan. Know nothing about either of these girls. But, you know, I think Carla Jade is like a bare knuckle ring girl because her photo is her in like a ring girl attire with bare knuckle on it. Uh, I don't know anything about Khan. Kieran, sorry, I called it Khan. Holy shit. I swear I said Khan. Oh, Kieran. My bad. I might be a bit blind. Uh, I'll go with Carla Jade here. Don't really know anything about either girl, but you know, ring ring girls. They uh they they got some fucking spice to them, you know. So I'd say she gets this one done with that ring girl grit, and then we have Pulley Arif versus J Chris. You know, I don't really know this dude, but he's two and one, he beat, he beat Dean the Grey, that's a pretty good win, did he actually, oh no, he lost to Dean the Grey, my bad, wait, this isn't, no, I was going to say, this isn't uh, that Sharks dude, is it, nah, uh, well, you know, he survived the distance with Dean the Great. Dean the Great normally knocks guys out, so I'll take I'll take uh, Pulley Arif over J Chris, and then we got Andrea Jane Bunker versus Little Belsie. Uh, <laughs> I'm Australian. I don't even know who the fuck Little Belsie is, man. Uh. I feel like, like genuinely, I have no clue who little Belsie is at all, but she's won a fight, has AJ, so AJ lost to Astrid Watts, okay, that's a bad look, losing to Watts, yeah, I'll, I'll go with little Belsie here, she seems a little bit more vicious, uh, I, I watched the press conferences. I know nothing. It seems like little Belsie's a little controversial as well or something from what I gathered. <laughs> yeah, th these are really hard to break down because fucking... There's no point even doing tape study when it comes to the fucking exhibition boxing or influencer boxing, I should say. Uh, we got OJ Rose versus Callum Izzard. Uh... Yeah, fuck, man. So, Callum Izzard, I mean, OJ Rose beat uh, Kimbo Slice's son, Slice, uh, Little Slice, I think that's what they call him. Baby Slice, sorry. You know, that that's a pretty good win. I remember it being like a bit of a controversial decision, but still, uh, still a really good win. Callum Izzard, on the other hand, Beat James Tyndale. Don't I don't know who the fuck that is, man. I I don't know who this dude is. He looks like a fucking Ken though. He looks like 
I don't know. He looks like he's got a lot of plastic surgery done. So I don't know. But I'll, I'll go with OJ Rosier just because a Raider finish over Baby Slice, even if it is premature or not, a bit more than uh, beating a fucking a human blow up doll. And then we got uh, what's his name? Ogwe, Master Ogwe versus uh, a Miz Corey Lone. I'm going with a. I'm actually going to go with Master Ogway. I was watching a lot of his... He actually... He seems like he's pretty solid. He's taking this pretty seriously, I reckon, from what I've seen. You know, he actually looks... I think he's trained boxing before or something. Like, I'm not saying he's like a fucking elite-level boxer, but he, he doesn't look like a, an inexperienced guy in the midst. Like, he, he looks pretty solid. He's, you know, he's Turkish, but he fights out of Amsterdam. There's a lot of boxing and kickboxing gym. So I think... I think he's probably trained in some sort of kickboxing or something. But yeah, he, he actually looks pretty solid. And this uh, guy he's fighting, his cardio is not very good. And he's very muscular. You know, being very muscular in boxing is actually a very bad thing. Because you're, you know, I'll say this every time. If Yes, being muscular can help in MMA because you can grapple. But being super muscular in boxing is always going to be a disadvantage. Because... Like I say, you know, your your biceps need more oxygen when you've got bigger muscles. And that just makes your gas tank fade so much quicker. So, yeah, I'm actually, I'm going to take Master Ogway. I know him, of course, as well. You know, not personally, but he's a cool guy. I like him. Very entertaining guy. And I think he's just going to Sigma his way through this and get the win. And then we got Gabriel Silva versus Ben the Bane Davis. I'm going to be taking Gabriel Silva here. I don't think he's like great or anything. I don't think he's a special talent, but I just, you know, I, I think he will beat Ben Davis. Uh, yeah, but Ben Davis, you know, all respect to him for taking this fight. You know, honestly, respect. Like, not many people would uh, be willing to take a fight like this. You know, he's putting a, he's, he's not really got much to lose at the end of the day. Everyone's picking Gabriel Silva to KO him. But still, you got to respect him for taking this fight. I, I do think he's going to get beat, though, by Gabriel Silva. I don't think Silva's that great either, but Ben Davis himself has said he's not really trained. And, you know, he's, he's not. he looks a lot smaller than Gabriel Silva. Silva looks like a much bigger man. He's taller than him. Uh, and obviously, he's training with a lot better guys. I mean, Ben Davis is training with some good MMA fighters, but this is boxing at the end of the day. So I think I think Gabriel Silva is going to get this one done. But he'll probably make it competitive. You know, he hasn't beat the best guys, Gabriel Silva. Like like uh, Davis mentioned in the uh, press conference, he beat a 0-7 guy and he got rocked in the second round. So that's not, not a good look by any means. Uh, but yeah, I think I think Gabriel Silva will get this one done. And then we have uh, Faze Temper versus Ginty. Uh, I'm going to be taking Faze Temper here. Uh, damn, they don't even have Ginty's real name. It's literally just Ginty on here. At least for Faze Temper, they have Thomas Oliveira. But yeah, I'm going to take uh, Faze Temper here. I think he'll get this one done. He is a bit chinny though, like for, and I mean this as a YouTube boxer, he's a bit chinny. KO'd by a KSI, KO'd by a uh, Slim, but I do, I don't think Ginty's that good, and he's been KO'd himself. And I, I do think Face Temper's got some skill. He's just not very durable, but yeah, and he's a, I think, you know, he's 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 got a lot more experience. You know, should have. One against King Kenny. I think they overturned it to a win. You know, Kenny's not bad either for a YouTube boxer. So, yeah, I'll take take face temper in this. And then we got, uh, what's it, Rakzu versus Halal Ham. I'll, I'm taking Rakzu in this. You know, he's got, got some pretty good wins. Oh, so he lost to Anthony Taylor. For some reason, I thought he beat Anthony Taylor. I don't know why I thought that. But still, he beat... He beat King Kenny. That's a pretty good win to have. Uh, you know, Kenny's not bad, especially for a YouTube boxer. I know I just said that, but I'm going to repeat myself. And then Hello Ham is... I mean, he did go to a decision with Salt Puppy, but I do think that, uh, that Raksu will get this one done. I think Raksu is just more athletic, a bit better at boxing. 
Uh, I don't think Hello Ham takes this too seriously. So yeah, I'm going to go with him. And then we got the main event. It's Idris Virgo versus Aaron Chalmers. Uh, you know, Aaron Chalmers, I think he's coming off that fight to Kiefer Crosby. Yeah. So he's coming off that fight to Kiefer Crosby. He also fought Floyd Mayweather. Uh, but, you know, no, no, nothing wrong with getting beat up by Floyd Mayweather there. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be taking Idris Virgo here. I think he's, you know, he's he's got some much more boxing experience. And losing to Kiefer Crosby is just not a good look for uh, Aaron Chalmers. I think he's a bit older than Virgo as well, if I'm correct. Yeah, he's a bit older than Virgo. And losing to Kiefer Crosby is just not a good look, in my opinion. You know, Kiefer Crosby isn't the best guy, and especially he's not a boxer, and you're getting beat by him. No, not, not a great look by any means. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take Virgo here. I think Idris Virgo is going to beat him. Uh, yeah, but, you know, it's, it's, it should be a fun card. Uh, I am actually pretty excited to see Gabe Silver versus Ben Davis. I can't lie. I don't know. Like, I, I respect Ben Davis for building the fight up, but I do think he's going to lose. But still, he could prove me wrong out there. Gabriel Silva's not proven by any means, so maybe... It'll be an upset, but yeah, it should be a good, good uh, event of fights, but uh, yeah, still, it is what it is. Uh, I, I like these cards, though. They're always fun. People who hate on these cards, though, they just hate fun. Like, you don't have to watch these if you don't like them. Like, like that's that's all there is to it, you know? If you don't like them, don't watch them. <sighs> you know, if you... Like if you like if you don't like stuff like this, then yeah, you don't ha like. I hate people who are like, oh, why are you watching that garbage? Is like, well, it's entertaining, you know. You can't hate on it; it's fun. And if you don't like it, then you just don't watch. Like, I like that it happens. I like that there's more options for fights. You know, it's never bad that more people are getting into fighting. It doesn't take away from a pro card or anything as well. It's its own separate entity. So, yeah, I like it. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll catch you guys next time.